friends welcome back to my channel plenty princess my name is Ashley today's video is a sponsored video by an LED grow light company grow star I have the amazing opportunity to try out their newest grow light it is a 1000 watt full spectrum LED grow light they have a shop on Amazon um, before we get started I have affiliate links in the description down below if you use those links, don't forget to use the code PLANTYPRINCESS5 for 5% off your orders. Definitely check them out. They have a bunch of really great grow lights, great prices. They are relatively inexpensive, and I tend to find that you do not need to spend loads of money on a grow light to get a good grow light. So definitely consider this company, try them out. I will let you know what I think. Today we are just going to go over some of the specs. I'm gonna show you the grow light. And then in a month or two of use, uh, I will definitely let you know what I think of this grow light, give you my final thoughts, my final opinion, and let you know how my plants liked the grow light. Without any further ado, let's get right into this unboxing. So because it comes from Amazon, obviously it comes in a bigger Amazon box, but I already kind of got rid of that to kind of get that out of the way so I didn't have too many boxes sitting here with me. But it just comes in this nice, nice little box right here, super simple to open. I really like that it doesn't really have any tape included or anything like that. It just, it's one of those one that has the little sliding inserts and just pops right open. So inside the box, it is covered with a piece of styrofoam. And this is the grow light we're looking at. This grow light was $66 on Amazon, which was a great price for this grow light. I definitely think so. Um, this grow light definitely has a lot of great specs, a lot of great qualities. Uh, like I said, it is the new newest version that they have. It has, you know, really great cost efficiency and all that good stuff so let me get this out of here show you what it comes with so of course it comes with some hanging wires this is the one that attaches actually to the light and then it has this one to be able to adjust the height of the light it comes with a service card which i am going to assume if you need service on it you put the purchase date your email your name your phone number and describe the issues you are having with your light. This light does have a two year warranty. So if you do have any issues with the grow light, all you have to do is contact them directly and they will help you out with whatever you, the issues you are having, figure out a solution to your problem. So it is encased here in this styrofoam to keep it nice and comfortable during shipping. I really love these thin panel LED lights because they're not really bulky. They're nice and uh, appealing to the eye. I know, you know, older grow lights tend to be really chunky, really bulky, and you really don't want to place them places other than in a grow tent. This is a light that I already have lights in my grow tent, so I will probably be placing this somewhere. Um, I was thinking of doing some grow lights behind me because I definitely want to do a plant wall, especially for my video, so it looks more planty, it looks more nice. I also have a wall over there in my living room that I have a bunch of plants on that I'm just using a standard stand-up light with some bulbs in it, and I need to get rid of that. So I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to be placing this yet. Also, I really do like to do installations during these videos. The installation to this one is so simple because I don't know where I'm going to be placing this yet. I have to figure that out in the next couple days. I will just explain to you how to install this light because it is that easy. So anyways, the grow light, like I said, it is a thousand watt grow light. It does have 222 LED chips on it, as you can see. It is a full spectrum. It has warm white lighting, white lighting, red lighting, and then it has your IR lighting. So it's great for all stages of plant growth, germination, seedlings, vegetation, flowering. It's great for all stages. You just wanna be sure you have it at the correct height for whatever stage your plant is currently in. What's really nice is that, let me set this in here so I don't, the LEDs 
What's really nice is it does come with this little pamphlet. So the model I currently have, it's the QB series LED grow light. It is model L-QB1. This grow light is the newest version and most cost efficient of most cost effective plant light it has a total of 222 leds like i said that contain the warm white light the white light the red light the ir lighting which is the most effective spectral ratio for plants to mainly absorb the light that they need um is more so like your sunlight that you're getting which is good because plants definitely need the appropriate lighting to be able to properly use it plants just can't absorb any type of lighting which is, I think, in a lot of ways, we get confused. You can't just turn any light on and think, oh, your plant's going to photosynthesize because it does not work like that. So you definitely want to make sure you get a good grow light that is giving you the right ratios of the light that the plant needs, which this one definitely does. Um, it does have the actual ratios of each set of lights uh, in the user guide. If you're interested in that information, definitely head to... The links down below click on this grow light check the specifics for that out it will be in there also this grow light has the lights diodes has high efficiency it's more than 2.7 it also has a cold forge three millimeter aluminum heat sink for great heat dissipation so to me heat dissipation is very important it really won't matter so much for me for this light because I'm not going to be placing it in a grow tent or an enclosed room. But when you do start to place grow lights in places like that, you definitely need to make sure that the heat sink is properly put together. That way you're not getting a light that gets too warm and then you're throwing it in a grow tent or an enclosed space, which makes it even warmer because the heat from the light is just dissipating off the light and surrounding the light in that room or in that grow tent. Then again, getting back into the metals on the light. So this is also, it has no fan, no noise. And it also has a waterproof casing on the LED surface here, which is also another great bonus to this light. Uh, especially if you're keeping it in a grow tent or near a humidifier. Now, obviously, the whole grow light isn't waterproof. You can't just dunk it in a thing of water. But having that waterproof casing over the LED definitely does make sure that that high humidity, you can keep it in high humidity and it will not negatively affect the way that the light runs. So... Next up here, we have a lot of specifications in this little user manual, which I thought was really neat. It had input voltage 100 to 240 VAC, which is great. Light distribution is 120 degrees. That's the amount, the angle of area that the light will cover, which is actually a very good portion of lighting. This grow light is best um, if you're using it in a grow tent, either a two by two grow tent or even a three by three grow tent, I think this would do fine in, um, but it's definitely recommended for a two by two. But again, I think this would definitely be okay for a three by three. If you're going to go four by four, five by five, stuff like that, you probably need two of these, maybe even three for the five by five. But again, they are relatively inexpensive. So even to buy two of these really would still be less than some of the grow lights that are out there for that size of a grow tent, which is really great. PPFD, there's a really high PPFD, which is also great. That information is also on um, the description if you go and check this light out. And then it shows you the full spectrum. What I really like is that it gives you recommendations for the height uh, based on the growth stage of your plant. Now, of course, these are Obviously, only recommendations. Each plant does differ. Each genus does differ. So you definitely want to take that into consideration and look at this and read this with a grain of salt. This is just for uh, a starter, a starter base here. It's not a definite, but anyways, it does kind of give you a recommended height and working time that you want to start off by, you know, when you're hanging this above your plants. So the only thing, this is a plug and play. You plug it in, it will just turn on. It does not have a timer, it does not have a dimmer, which again, for me, 
doesn't really matter. And you really don't need a dimmer as long as you have it appropriately above your plants. And as far as a timer, you know, you wanna leave this on, you're probably going to be leaving this on for 10 to 12 hours a day. At least I know I will, most people will. Um, but that makes it really easy to, you know, plug it in when you come home, before you go to bed, unplug it, it's super simple, or they definitely have those little plug uh, timers where you can set the timer, plug it in, always leave it plugged in, and it will turn the light off on its own, which I also really like. I get those for all my grow lights that don't have a timer. So I don't anymore base my grow light off of whether it has a timer or not. I used to look for grow lights that have timers, but I've soon come to realize it is not worth paying the extra $100 for or, you know, whatever the cost may be to get a grow light with a timer on it when, you know, I can get something a grow light just as good if not better for a better cost and uh it you know i just i just find it better to not base your grow light off of the timer aspect so now we're here to the installation so it has these holes here where you're going to be hanging these clips by the only thing additional you need to get to install this light if you're going to be hanging it into a ceiling is like an eye hook or something like that, something that you can hang, hang this from. Um, so these clips, really simple. These clips here, you literally just put them onto here. Of course, I did the thick side. Thin side, actually, thin side. Let's try that again. So before you make the mistake that I just made, there's more thickness here than there is over here. So you wanna insert it from the sides where it's thinner. That would make more sense. So anyways, you're just going to literally, it's hard because I have nails. Hook them in there on all fours and boom, you hang it right up into that eye hook. Again, there is this extension cord that you can, you know, change the height. You press this little lever here. There's a little lever here. And you hold that in and you're able to exchange the height. And then again, same hook that you would hook it on the eye hook. I'm probably not going to use this. I always do keep these in case I ever move my grow light to another lo location or do need to lower it or raise it. But uh, for now, this is at a great height for where I'm going to, where I think I'm going to place it because I have a plant shelf that kind of goes up, you know, maybe four feet or three feet from the ceiling. So this is going to be a great height for my use. So again, don't forget to check this company out. The company is GrowStar. I do have affiliate links in the description. Don't forget to use that coupon co code if you use the affiliate links down below. Planty Princess 5 for 5% off your purchase. Thank you again for joining me in another video. I hope you will take this grow light into consideration. I will definitely do an update video letting you know my final thoughts, my final opinion, and what my plants think about this light. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested in the content I provide. And as always, every place a princess. Bye.